back to my YouTube channel. It's Elizabeth, also known as the Elizabethan Era, and you're tuning in to another video. So, um, today I'm kind of like really in the mood to talk to y'all. So, we're going to talk about self-love and self-worth. I feel like a lot of people deal with it and people don't talk about it enough in its depth. A lot of people talk about it like, girl, you should love yourself or you're beautiful. People, I feel like, talk about it on surface, but do you really feel it? You know what I mean? Um, before we jump into the video, if you have not subscribed, please subscribe. You're already here, so why not? Um, turn your bell notifications on as well so you can get notified whenever I post a video. And we can get it on and pop in for the rest of 2018. First, I wanted to start it off with a definition of self-love. Self-love is a noun, of course, and it's a regard for one's own well-being and happiness, chiefly considered as a desirable characteristic rather than a narcissistic characteristic. The reason I want to give y'all the definition is so you know I'm not trying to play y'all. Just giving you guys my personal opinion and perspective on this factual topic. Um, but also not just like a worldly definition view on it, but I wanted to give you guys a biblical reference. So if you've been following me on my Insta story on Snapchat, I got a devotional book for um, 2018. Let me change a little lighting for y'all. I got this book. Oh, I got it in December, like around Christmas. And so I've been trying to be really consistent with it. I post on there. Um, it's really great. It tells you like <sighs> everything you need to know about life and whatnot. So this one is called Loving Yourself. And the verse is Psalm 86, 15. It says, but you, Lord, are a compassionate and gracious God, slow to anger, abounding in love and faithfulness. So now for her paraphrase. It says, we all know that Jesus wants us to love our neighbors as we love ourselves. It's the second greatest commandment after all. But how much do you really love yourself? Do you talk nicely to yourself? I think our self-talk can be very revealing. Do you take care of yourself? Do you feed yourself spiritually and physically? Do you value who you are and what you contribute to those around you? And are you confident or insecure? Self-love comes from knowing God love, an unconditional freeing love that is offered to us without cost. We can get down on ourselves sometimes because we think we must earn God's love by trying to make ourselves more like Jesus, by behaving well, by doing and saying the right things. But friend, that love is already yours. Christ died to give it to you, John 3.16. He wants you to receive it so you can actually value, respect, and love yourself. Since it is impossible to offer what you do not have, open yourself to receive God's love so you'll have love to give away. The natural outflow will show others the revolutionary freedom of God's will to heal you and everyone else. And then this is the prayer at the end. Lord God, please help me to wholeheartedly embrace your love for me. Teach me to love myself and free me to share your love with others. I, one, love this devotional, but I really liked um, the different points that she had highlighted. Like, do we talk to ourselves nicely and do we really feed our spiritual and our physical sense? So I haven't seen throughout 2018 that trend. Everybody got it off of like a song lyric and it's like, talk to me nice. Talk to me nice. They want to post a picture, caption it, talk to me nice. You know, like they all dressed up, they're looking cute or whatever. Caption is talk to me nice. So many people have used it like, okay, we get it. Talk to you nice. But do you talk to yourself nice? And I say this not in terms of like an arrogant talk to me nice. I'm royalty. I'm a queen, this, that, and the other. Because of course, everybody, we're all royalty. But do you talk to yourself nice? Do you really feed yourself are you your own best friend do you really know yourself um i feel like self-love starts with knowing yourself i'm gonna get a little personal with you guys so i was supposed to record this video yesterday i came up with the idea a couple days ago and i was like you know what i'm gonna record it because i try to get a video out like every friday and stuff but yesterday i was in this really really bad like mental funk like, i wasn't in the mood to get in front of a camera and tell you guys like love yourself self-love i feel like that would have been fake 
And I didn't want to be fake with you guys, especially on a topic like self-love. Like, on self-love, you can't be faking that because if you're going to be fake with anybody else, like, cool, but you can't be fake with yourself. And the topic is about yourself. So I just had to really rest and regroup my mind mentally. Um, and I'll describe a little bit about how I was feeling. And maybe you guys feel the same way at times. So I was in a space where the... Things I try to feed in my life, my physical self, my spiritual self, my emotional state, those I would say are like my top three that I try to feed. And so physically, I felt like, dang, yes, I've been working out, but I haven't been working out the way I used to be working out when I was like a D1 athlete. And in my mind, whenever I look in the mirror, I envision what I used to look like. And so now whenever I see what I look, currently look like, I'm just like a little bit displeased, but Comparing yourself to yourself, that's still a healthy thought process. But where I was going in terms of like a dangerous and unhealthy thought process physically was that I was looking at images of myself and portraying a visual of myself of when I would work out six days a week. I mean, six out of seven, some of the days are two a days. I was like a whole D1 athlete. And now, I mean, I graduated. I don't do that anymore. So I can't personally expect for my body to still mold and look the same um and so that's when it gets kind of dangerous because you're envisioning something that you're not putting the same steps towards um but you expect the same outcome so that was my physical mindset how it was just getting a little bit tainted and I was like dang like what do I do I'm not necessarily pleased with how I'm looking and then as far as like my spiritual sense I felt like other people could, you know, reach out to me and ask for advice and I could pour into them and I can like respond and I can give them like a whole sermon or like send them a video or like just give them words of encouragement. I would listen to like my podcast regularly. I would listen to sermons. I would listen to like different genres of Christian music, whether it be gospel, contemporary, like all of that. And I was really like, you know, absorbing Christ. Like he was... Holy Spirit filled the atmosphere. He was there, but I wasn't really feeling it. And so it was one of those like, dang, like what's going on? What's wrong with me? Um, and so I had to take a break and I had to be like, okay, just regroup and really pray about it. Like really turn to God and don't just say you're going to do things like in terms of like a checklist, but actually absorb the present moment. Like actually sit in silence and like meditate and talk to God and see what it is that he wants see what it is that like he's asking for of you so that he can give you answers because this is unlike you you are a very bubbly person and for you to feel so down even though you're doing the right things is from the enemy and don't let the enemy take your joy like the enemy's really out there plotting and planning especially when he knows that you know good things bright things are coming in your way and so it was just really funny because um as I say, like bright things are coming your way. I had like really good news and like opportunities coming to me throughout the day, like in one day. And I was still in this funk. And so I just had to really like let it all out. I went to the gym and had to just like work it all out and tell myself like, I'm going to leave all of this negative energy here at the gym. Like I'm not taking that home. I'm not bringing it back where like I should be in peace. And so today I woke up feeling like a better person. And that's why I'm here making this video for y'all. So I just want to give you guys that little story and let y'all know like not everybody is going to seem like butterflies every day. Like it's not sunshine and like, oh my gosh, I'm just exuding love 24-7. Like sometimes people get Okay, down. so another thing I wanted to say and talk with you guys about with this era of social media, it's like a lot of people when they get on like Twitter and stuff, they're like, oh my gosh, these Twitter girls are a different breed. I have to delete the app. Huh? First of all... Everybody on Twitter is like a normal person. Let's just put that out there. So you shouldn't have to, I guess, put someone on a platform or like a pedestal because they're getting likes, because they're getting retweets and whatnot. Also, you should not look at that, look at the joy for someone else and compare it to your own because what God has for them is not what God has for you. It's completely different. There's no reason to look and say, dang, like, oh my gosh, they be in the gym, they be doing... Girl, go to the gym then. Like, everybody is capable of building their own image. Every Everyone's capable of building their own um, 
ideal goal. Of course, you have to tailor into the fact genetics, but there's so many people that overcome genetic makeup. And so one thing I will say for you guys is that like, if one person in your same predicament and in your same situation was able to overcome it, that literally puts you at like no excuse. Like you have, you have no reason to say like, I can't do it. So that's one thing I wanted to explain to you guys in terms of like social media. Don't allow social media to make you feel like it's a day and night process. It's not going to happen overnight. And don't allow social media to consume your mind to the point where you can no longer look at yourself and be happy. You are, um, almost having to fiend for attention. Like every time you post, that's the only time you're happy. Like you're only glorifying yourself. You talking to yourself nice when you dressed up in your best. But when you're, you know, chilling, no wig, you didn't brush your teeth, you just woke up, you in some sweatpants, got an oversized t-shirt on. Um, do you talk to yourself nice in those moments? You know what I mean? Like, do you still sit there with the mindset and say like, I love myself, I'm beautiful. I am a wonderful creation. Do you say that in those moments or do you only say it when you artificially dress yourself up and say like, ooh, I'm a baddie. You know what I mean? Um, so now that we like established all of the different things that, you know, kind of consist of self-love, I want to talk with you guys about tips and how we can move forward with it. Because there's no reason to kind of bring awareness to a topic and not highlight on how to resolve those issues, how to resolve the problem. Some tips that I have for you guys is to surround yourself with uplifting people. And I say this not in terms of like you post something and then people gas in your head like, oh my gosh, girl, you're so fine. But like, do you have real people in your corner? Do you have those people that are Truly, like, in your real life, not your social life, but, like, in your real life, when you are down in the dumps and when you feel so negative, do you have those people you could turn to that can really, like, analyze you and help you and give you tough love? Because there's nothing like having someone in your corner that gives you tough love. Wow. Um, me, personally, I have a very special person in my life, and he gives me tough love on a daily, and I hate it's like I uh, it hurts because it's like dang you really know me and you just coming for my entire existence like you just come for my life and you're telling me like how it is like you're giving me all the answers that I don't want to hear it's like you have to look at that person's intentions if you know that person's intentions for you are very true and very transparent and they see so much in you and they're wondering why you don't see it in yourself and they're trying to push you and they're like why are you settling that is when you know like that person is really in my corner. I'm talking about when they see so much in you and they're like, yes, like, why are you not doing this? Like, why are you not pushing yourself to the highest limit? Like, why are you settling? Why are you comparing yourself to the average? Like, you should, you should have those people in your corner that love you so much that you're like, dang, why don't I love myself enough? Like, that is the definition of a true, true, true relationship and a true friend. This video getting kind of long and I'm getting kind of heated, so... We might have to wrap it up. Okay, so to end it all, I just wanted to say that if any of you guys watching this video are going through any type of self-love issues, any type of self-worth issues, and you need some help and you need some more tips, if you need any more further tips from all of that and you want someone to just talk to, to listen to your problems or whatever the case may be, hit me up um, down in the comments. You can DM me on IG, you can DM me on Twitter, you can even email me. I want to be there for you guys and I want to see where y'all's headspace is at. I want to interact with you guys. I want to get more involved with y'all. Um, so yeah, just know that you're not alone because everybody goes through it. Self-love and self-worth is a very deep issue that a lot of people are suffering from and they don't necessarily see it. They just keep putting on this facade and this surface type of image of who they are because they don't want anyone to know like internally they're really going through something. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Leave your comments down below. If you like this video, if you want to see more videos like this, let me know and I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and a great rest of your summer. Bye loves. Thank you.